So that's going to putting extra load on your liver, which then will, well, it's, it's loading up the liver. So fatty liver disease or just inability to cope energy issues because liver is involved in your glucagon production, which has everything to do with how much energy you have and how long you can sustain it. And then when the liver is not coping, then it's going to download it to the kidneys. So the kidneys are suffering, trying to filter out the toxins that are supposed to come out. So if there's a load of that, eventually the kidneys are overwhelmed, then the life becomes quite miserable. And in most people, we need to work our way from the beginning. Some people suggest that you work it back from the system as in strengthen your kidneys first and strengthen your liver second. But in my mind, it should be the other way around. Fix your digestion. Number one, get rid of the heavy metals and other irritants that are causing the trouble. This, this is, we, we have these four areas. I keep naming it this way. Toxicity, malnutrition, stagnation, trauma. So the toxicity, we need to get it out. Otherwise, it keeps on disturbing and disrupting and causing havoc. Everything that's either coming in or is already on board needs to be eliminated. Two, the malnutrition we need to bring into circulation into your body. The nutrients you require so that it works, so that it can take on nutrients. Stagnation is an important concept. Stagnation that would be either in your digestive system or especially eliminative system. Like if you're constipated, then you're not getting rid of things. That's the stagnating gut, stagnating elimination. The lymphatic system, your lymph is only moved when you move against gravity, which means walking, running, Rebounders are excellent. And if that's out of reach, the vibrating plates, these are, they, they need to be used at the lower range, about five cycles per second rather than 20. Anyway, as you're vibrating the body, fluids that are in the body will naturally percolate upward and the lymphatic system starts moving. And the lymphatic system really is our sewer system of the body. It's sort of like the septic tank that you may have at your house and you need to flush it out all the time. Maybe a better metaphor for this lymphatic system would be an aquarium. If you could visualize that you have an aquarium and fish in it, so your cells would be like the fish and the fish are fed by throwing stuff into the water. And so they eat that, but they also poop into that same water. So if you don't have a good bubbler that's going to push oxygen in, and if you don't have a good filter that's going to filter out the debris, soon going to turn into swamp and the fish are going to start floating belly up. There is a way to do this in a closed system by having enough light and enough plants. That's how it's done in nature is that you have plants growing in the water and the plants will take in light and carbon and release oxygen. And this oxygen will be available in the water to the fish because they actually breathe the oxygen that is dissolved in, in water. So that's the metaphor of the lymphatic system. You need to have the understanding that all nutrients come carried by blood, which is interfaced at the lymphatic system. The blood unloads onto the lymphatic system and takes on the stuff, the crap. So there's an endless circulation. So anyway, that was the stagnation. You need to overcome the stagnation through movement and through filtering. And the last one was trauma. We need to deal with that. Trauma could be of many sorts. It could be physical where you're dealing with simple things like um, temperature changes or, or EMF, electromagnetic frequencies. It could have something to do with how your life has been, the emotional injuries that you may have stored. They all need to be resolved. Otherwise they create blockages and malfunctions. I don't know what else comes under trauma. Maybe inhaling artificial fragrances would be under that. It's both toxicity and trauma at the same time. Anyway, that's the large picture of the ADD to autism. It's all tied to the industrial age. It all is tied to the level of toxicity. It all is tied to our ability to remove these and to allow the body to function normally. I think I've outlined the whole mechanism of action, what we need to do. What causes the MTHFR mutation? 
Well, we all are mutating all the time. It's a genetic thing. So as people mate, the sperm and the egg, they come with genetic material. So probably some toxicity in the mother or in the father at the time of conception created the mutation. These days, 40% of Americans have both parents with that. I could be wrong. It could be 25%. I don't know. Please don't hold me to this one. Um, and then, of course, much greater percentage with at least one parent who has had that. I know it's highly frequent in Irish and Jewish, Eastern European. It's, I mean, a lot of us have ancestors from there. Again, it doesn't mean that it's end of the world for you. If you have the MTHFR, you just need to adjust to it. You need to know that you need to detoxify more than people who don't have it. You need to be not taking, so for example, with vitamin B12, you can't take cyanocobalamin, you need to take methylcobalamin. How long is it sufficient to detox? Well, until it's done. Some people believe in testing. You could be doing a lot of testing, and then when your levels are down, then you're finished detoxing. Personally, I go by the symptoms. When my symptoms are gone, I guess I'm done. But for me, I take some zeolite every day to this day. I mean, I was on an intense program when I was first detoxing, where I was taking the equivalent of 12 capsules of zeolite AV a day. And then three, four months, I switched to three capsules a day. And after a year, I switched to one capsule a day. And to this day, that's what I do. If mushrooms help with fungus in the body. Well, mushrooms are fungi. So no, they are living off of the stuff. So they're helpful. Like there's such a thing as medicinal mushrooms but they are not going to remove fungus from the body. All right, guys, I need to get going and I appreciate you being here today. So this is Martin Patella, health coach at Life Enthusiast, life-enthusiast.com, today being June 4th, 2023. Thank you and enjoy the day.